Okay, so in this example we're going to look at a steam turbine and the amount of uh, work that you can extract from uh, a mole or a kilogram of steam that passes through the turbine. So this is a steam turbine. The inlet conditions of the turbine are 10 megapascals and 500 degrees Celsius and the steam leaves the turbine at 0.2 megapascals and 150 degrees Celsius. So what flow rate of steam is required to generate 3 megawatts of power? So to, to start with, I, I draw my system. So I've drawn my turbine here. And, uh, and what my inlet conditions are, 500 degrees Celsius, 5 megapascals, it leaves at 150 degrees Celsius and 0.2 megapascals. And then also we've got some work happening uh, with the system. Okay, so it's a turbine, so it is generating electricity, so we must have some work leaving the system. So I know that this is a first law problem, so I, so I know my inlet conditions, my outlet conditions, and I'm being asked about how much work is produced, so it's a first law problem. My assumptions that I'm going to be using for this problem are that the system's at steady state, okay, so I'm not considering the unsteady state behaviour. The system is constant volume, so I'm not expecting my turbine to suddenly change volume. And that the heat that leaves the turbine is negligible. Now, that's a pretty borderline assumption. So this system is pretty hot. Uh, so you will be losing some heat. But what I'm assuming is that the amount of heat loss will be negligible compared to the energy in the flows and the amount of work produced. Okay, so, so knowing that this is a first law problem, my starting point then is the, uh, is the energy balance equation that we calculated before. Now, because I'm starting from this equation, another assumption that I need to make is that the kinetic energy uh, is equal to the potential energy is equal to zero. Okay, or more correctly that the changes in those things are pretty close to zero. So we're not expecting them to make a significant contribution. And I don't know the pipe sizes or anything like that, so I can't actually test that assumption now. So, so with those in place then, this is, this is my starting point here. The, with the assumptions, I start making simplification. So the first of these is that something's at steady state. So if it's at steady state, it doesn't change with time. So, so these terms here, which are the rate of change of something with time, have to be zero. So I can, so I can cross out these terms immediately, and then also I assume that there was negligible heat loss here. And so what I'm left with is that the shaft work is equal to the mass in, mass flow in, minus mass flow out. Okay, so then I don't have anything leaving the system through another stream or through a reaction or anything like that, so, uh, so I can say that I'm just going to use a general mass flow term, that's, that's equal to the mass flow in is equal to the mass flow out. And so I can simplify my work equation okay, so, so my job here is actually that I know how much work I want. Okay, I want three uh, three megawatts of work, okay, so I'll just call it uh, 3,000 kilowatts for the moment. And so what I'm trying to find is this one here. To do that, I'm going to need to find my uh, enthalpy values at, so this one's uh, 500 degrees Celsius and uh, 10 megapascals. And then this one here is at 150 degrees Celsius and 0.2 megapascals. Okay, so 
So I head to uh, a steam table. So this steam table here, or well, these steam tables here, I've taken from Koretsky. Okay, but you can take uh, a steam table from anywhere, uh, essentially. So uh, first of all, I'm looking for uh, at 10 megapascals. Okay, so we're at 10 megapascals here, and at 500 degrees Celsius, and so my uh, enthalpy is equal to uh, 3373.6. Okay, so I'll, I'll note that down, and then I'll find my outlet conditions. Okay, so here's the pressure that I'm interested in, 200 kilopascals. Here's the temperature that I'm interested in, and here's the outlet enthalpy. Okay, so I'll go back to my problem. Okay, so, so my uh, work here, so 3,000 kilowatts is equal to the mass flow times by my enthalpy in. minus my enthalpy out. Okay, so, and the units of my enthalpy here are in kilojoules per kilogram, okay? So this one here is in uh, kilowatts or uh, kilojoules per second. So if I rearrange this, and so 3,000 divided by 3,000 okay, and if I quickly do the, the calculation on this, I get is equal to 4.9 kilograms per second. Okay, so, so I require 4.9 kilograms per second of steam to generate three megawatts of electricity at those conditions. Okay, so it's it's easy. The, the main mistake that you can probably make here is a sign mistake. And so obviously if you end up with a negative flow, uh, there's a bit of a problem there. Okay, but, but that's a very simple first law problem. Uh, in the next problem, uh, we'll look at uh, an unsteady state problem instead.